Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin here from Ultimate Baseball Training, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five deadly baseball hitting drills that's gonna allow you to crush pitchers. You're gonna hit for power, hit for average, and have a ton of confidence at the dish, which is what it's all about, okay? So I'm gonna breeze through these five drills. Uh, you can do pretty much all of these with very, very limited equipment, okay? So the very first drill that I'm gonna show you is the walkthrough drill. This is a T drill, so all you need is a T and a couple baseballs, okay? All right, the walkthrough drill. If this is where you normally address the baseball, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a couple steps back at an angle. Then you're gonna have your bat facing towards the pitcher like so, and then I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna step in like this, okay? Simultaneously, as I step with my right foot, I'm gonna bring my bat to the launch position, okay? So it's right, left, and I'm in my launch position ready to go. My knob's facing the catcher, I'm in an athletic position. I'm ready to put a good swing and attack this baseball. So that's the walkthrough drill. You're literally gonna start back here like this, step, launch position, and then explode and drive through the baseball. So I'll demonstrate that. Back like this, bat up. All right, the next drill is the low T drill. So this is about belt high. I'm gonna put this tee down to the lowest setting. Now, if you're a younger player, you can actually use one of those orange street cones. That'll get the tee a little bit lower for you. But we're gonna go as low as we can go. And we're actually going to, again, if this is where I'd normally address, address the baseball, hitting it pretty much even with my front foot, I'm gonna take about a step backwards so it's really far out in front. Now, the purpose of this drill the sole purpose is so that we stay through the zone, stay through the ball for a long period of time. We don't want to get to contact and immediately get our bat out of the zone and get whippy and roll over, right? We want to stay, get our bat in the zone early, and we want to stay on playing with the pitch and in the zone for as long as possible. So that's what this drill is for. Put the ball way out in front, low T drill. Make sure you're driving through the baseball, low, hard line drives. The next drill is called solo toss. All you need is a baseball for this. No bat, no tee, nothing. You can literally do this in your living room. This is a great drill. You know, Barry Bonds once said that what he tries to think about is his bat is just an extension of his hands. So he always thought, you know, if you can catch the baseball, then you can hit the baseball. So that's what this drill is. You're gonna take for a right-handed hitter, you're gonna put the ball in your left hand. I'm gonna get my hands up like I'm in my hitting position, okay? And with my left hand, I'm gonna toss the ball up in the air, kind of like if I was hitting fungo ground balls. So I'm gonna toss the ball up in the air, and when I toss it up in the air, I'm gonna come through with my right hand and catch the baseball. Kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm attacking the baseball if it was on a tee. I'm getting to my contact point and I'm just catching the baseball right there, okay? Boom, just like that. You'll notice it looks like a great hitting position. Okay, so you're gonna toss the ball pretty close to your body. You don't want it way out here or anything like that. Pretty close to your body. And this is a drill that's tough. You're gonna have to get used to it, but it looks something like this. And you can start out slow. At first, you're gonna be probably like this, right? Really slow. And then eventually, you can speed things up. The next drill is the dynamite drill. You're gonna need a basketball for this drill or a flattened soccer ball. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna place it on your batting tee and you're gonna work on driving through the baseball. A lot of players stop immediately at contact. They're not good at driving through the baseball. That's what this drill is gonna teach you how to do. So I love this drill. Definitely try out the dynamite drill. The last drill is top and bottom hand swings. We're working on isolating each hand okay sometimes uh, you know top and bottom hand drills are not necessary for players if they're really squaring the ball up well but sometimes you know you'll see a player who gets really dominant with one hand so if you have a player who's hitting a lot of you know weak little flares to the fir first baseman if they're a right-handed hitter or third baseman if they're a left-handed hitter or if they're really rolling over, that means they might be getting a little bit too powerful and too strong with their top hand, which causes them to roll their wrists over like this. So if you see that they're getting, you know, just using one hand a little bit more than the other, then you can isolate, you know, each particular hand. So I don't recommend you do this with your normal size bat. Get something a little bit lighter. They make, uh, you know, shorter bats that you 
you can use. You can use a Little League bat or something like that. Or if you don't have anything else, you can kind of turn your bat around like this and deload it. But all we're going to work on is, you know, starting out, you can start out with both hands on the bat if you'd like. Um, and then when we get to our hitting position, we're going to let one of them go and work on taking swings with your bottom hand, okay, driving through the baseball. And then same thing with our top hand. Boom, just like this. Act like with your top hand when you get to contact, you're throwing a pizza into the oven. That's going to get for that good extension through the zone. You're going to get into that good power V position. So these are five great hitting drills that I promise you they're going to help you take your game to the next level, boost your bat speed, your power, your exit velocity, your average, and your confidence at the plate. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you want a full bat speed workout, it's 100% free. It's step by step, day by day. It's going to show you how to take your bat speed to that next level. And what I want you to do is click on this image right here, okay? That's not going to work on a mobile device. If you're on your phone, click on the first link in the description below this video. But that'll take you to my website. All I need is your email address, and I will immediately send you that free video where I share with you my bat speed workout. So I'll see you over there on the site. Go get your free bat speed workout. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.